Hey all you crazy bot nerds, this is Pat with Brain Trust Interactive and today I want to show you a really cool little tutorial. Uh, it's real simple and it's on how to use dynamic images, personalized images, inside mini-chat. So there's a lot of different things that you can do with those. You can show uh, reward points that people get on a loyalty card. You can show uh, personalized coupons. You can thank people with a nice graphic image or something like that. Uh, it says thanks for signing up and we'll show you that in a second. Um, and all it takes is, of course, MiniChat. Uh, you got a MiniChat Pro. Um, you can have a Nifty Images or a Pick Snippets account and an Integromat account. But the nice thing is, is there's no code involved, okay? Because I know how much people hate code. So let's do a real quick demo. So I've got this simple, simple flow here that I'm going to uh, show you, and this will be downloadable and clonable for your bots. So let's get right into it and see what happens. So, um, I've got a little button here that says, are you ready for your dynamic image? I say yes, and then what happens is it makes a uh, dynamic call to Integromat, and let's watch a little bit of magic. So let's preview it, and we'll open up Messenger, and it says, are you ready for your dynamic image out? I say yes, and it says, okay, here it comes. And boom, look at that, holy we have a dynamic image with my name built right into it. So that you can see is very, very powerful stuff. I mean, it, it, it really uh, you know causes a lot of engagement, gets a lot of engagement from your users. So let's see how the heck this thing actually happens and what we can do to create this. Okay, the first thing that you need is a Nifty Images or a Pick Snippets account. And I'll have links there uh, for you as well. So what we're doing with Nifty Images, and Nifty Images basically is a service. Um, they've got a, a very small uh, kind of a free demo tier that you can use. Uh, for you know low usage uh, and then they have you know twenty dollars a month gets you a, a lot of features and a ton of views so you can use this across any bot if so if you've got multiple clients you can use this for all your clients so uh, basically what you would do is that you would uh, either use what nifty images has um, in their library or you can upload your own images. Now if you're going to upload your own images for uh, ManyChat, um, you need to use either a 909 by 476 or something like a 500 by 252 or a square image like a thousand by thousand or 500 by 500. So the smaller the better obviously because over mobile phones uh, it's got to render an image dynamically and then deliver it so you don't want to take a long time to do that. So let's just uh, create a, a quick image so you come over here and say uh, I want to create a personalized image and I'm going to use their alerts. They have a ton of different templates that you have, like all kinds of things. Uh, so you can at least get ideas of how to use uh, the graphics. But I'm going to go down to alerts and let's say somebody um, gives us their email and their phone and they sign up for our VIP club. So I'll say uh, thanks for signing up first name. So. Um, the default uh, value would be um, you, know, you awesome customer. How about that? We'll just uh, we'll just do that, and because uh, if you don't pass a name, you want it to show something. So I'll save it like this, and I'll call it um, dynamic image demo. Oh, I need to spell dynamic properly. And there we go, like that. Now, this is built so that you can include the images in HTML or emails or things like that. So it gives you this image tag code and all this other stuff here. What you need to do for ManyChat is you need to come over here on, like you'll see the quote and you'll see this other quote and this field where it says text equals, txt equals. You wanna copy from inside the quotes, so you wanna copy HTTPS all the way down to the equal sign, that's all you need. And you can either hit Control C on Windows, Command C on Macintosh, or you can right click and say copy. And then I wanna come in here to the template that you should have cloned by now, and you wanna edit the template. And you're gonna come over here to the dynamic content, and you go to the body, and all you gotta do is you paste in your image like this, and you save it. All right, so your uh, your image is good to go. So let's say uh, like a live preview, and I say thanks for uh, signing up. And I go Pat Friedel. There you go. See how it works? Works real well. 
and uh, so that way and we can do random names like you know just see how it looks right so that's done we've got our nifty image created so the next thing we need to do you'll see that um, with the dynamic content we actually posted to Integromat so what you got to do is you got to come over here to your Integromat account and if you don't have an Integromat account it's very much like Zapier um, only it uh, it does have a little more power in some areas uh, especially when you're doing stuff like you know dynamic images so um, it's very very inexpensive they have a free tier if you need to upgrade to the paid tier the nine dollars a month a big whopping nine dollars a month uh, really really uh, is is more power than you'll ever need okay so what you got to do is it will come over here and say create a scenario and we say new like that and just come up here and click the skip button all right so we've got a blank scenario here and uh integramat wants us to use a whole bunch of different uh, apps like that all we're going to do is we're going to go import like that and uh, in the uh, the comments here or in the description there is a link to the nifty images integramat scenario so it's already pre-built for you you don't have to do any building of scenarios you just choose the file like this I'm gonna go to my desktop and get that images JSON like that and hit save and it's already built and you notice it's a very very simple simple uh, scenario and we'll explain it in just a second um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here and I'm going to name it. So dynamic image demo. And if you were doing this for a lot of clients, what I would normally do is I'd say, you know, like client name, dynamic image, and then you could have like where the, what the dynamic image is or where you're using it in the bot because why not use as many dynamic images as you can, right? So I've named the scenario. Now, one of the most important things that you need to do when you set up the scenario is you'll see this little clock icon. Um, that means that um, web the webhook is actually just kind of sitting there and it's going to trigger every so many minutes. Uh, you don't want that. You want it to trigger immediately when ManyChat sends it data. And basically what a webhook is, is all it is is just a URL like if, uh, and, and it's waiting for information to be posted to it. Like if you were sending information through a web form or something like that. Okay, it's, it's, it's pretty simple stuff. So uh, you got to click on this clock icon and you say run scenario immediately like that, just like that. Um, and then that's pretty much it for setting it up. Now, what we've got here is we've got a brand new baby webhook and there's no data in it. So I need to come in here like this and I need to click and say add a webhook. And I wanna call this dynamic images demo so I know what the webhook is named and I hit save. Now what, what happens is that uh, it actually creates this little URL here and I wanna copy that address and it's waiting for information. So I go back over here to my mini chat and I'm going to paste in the value like this. And all I have to do is hit test the request and you'll get this error. It says response couldn't be valid JSON, but that's because it says it accepted the data. So that's only gonna happen the first time. And you'll notice I'm passing a name and I'm passing the nifty images link. So you'll see over here back in uh, Integromat that it says successfully determined, so we're okay. So then what happens when ManyChat sends the data in, so you could pass in first name, uh, you could do more complex images like the name, the phone number, and you know number of points that they've earned, things like that, but that's gonna require a little bit of additional work on your end with the webhook and inside uh, the dynamic request. Uh, but for this demo, we're just passing in the first name. So uh, once ManyChat gets the information, what happens is that it responds back with the uh, the image template using the ManyChat JSON reference, and it's basically passing an image and saying, "Here's the image," and it's adding the name to that image. And so Nifty Images gets this data, creates the image for you, and ta-da, it is done. And it's uh, it renders in your uh, in your your bot. So you don't need to edit any of this information at all. So once you've actually accepted the data, you just come down here, you save your scenario. And last but not least, you have to turn it on so it actually will accept information, okay? Just like that. And so you're set up here uh, with your dynamic request, you're posting to the Integromat, you're gonna be sending the name and the image link like that, and you can just publish it. 
And so let's test it again. Let's preview and make sure the darn thing works, right? So let's open it back up. And it says, are you ready for your image? And I say, yes. It says, okay, here it comes. And there it is. Thanks for signing up. So now you see, once you get somebody's name and email, you might just say, hold on just a minute. You send the uh, information to your Google Sheet or whatever else, and then ta-da, they get a nice happy thanks for signing up. Um, that's really cool when you personalize stuff. People love seeing their name. Um, I know I do, and it uh, makes me happy. So uh, you can use dynamic images all throughout your bot. You can use nifty images for all of your clients, and you can use Integramat for all of your clients. So uh, I don't see why you would not create more more engaging material like this inside your bot. Um, that's basically the demo and uh, and how to do it, guys. So uh, all you need is you need uh, you need the many chat flow, which we've got in the uh, the comments, and we need the uh, the nifty images uh, link, which I've provided, or Pick Snippets account as well if you want that. Um, there's an Integramat account that you need, and you just need the scenario for Integramat that you can import and set up and be up and running with uh, dynamic images for your users. So hopefully that uh, gives you some, uh, some good uh, ideas to work with in your bots. And happy botting.